Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which we will design a typical wrench in 3D space and it is a part of uh, the heat transfer tutorial uh, which will take part in ANSYS uh, Thermal Transient. Uh, now in this tutorial you will learn uh, things such as uh, creating and manipulating planes and uh, several stuff but the main uh, are the uh, extrude fillet and the blending. So let's start our uh, uh, first step by going to transient thermal and dragging it into the workspace. Let's call it uh, toot1 and let's right click on uh, geometry and go to new design modeler. Now here let's click on XY plane, let's go to units and choose centimeters and let's uh, click on Z or on look at face so that we uh, work in the uh, XY plane. Now let's go to sketching and start sketching our uh, uh, our wrench. So let's choose circle and uh, choose the center in the origin. Let's go to dimensions and uh, give it a dimension. Let's give it uh, 5 centimeters. And now let's uh, go to draw and let's go to polyline. Uh, let's start a line from here. Uh, take it here to the other axis. And let's make it end on this circle. Uh, and I chose this randomly and right click and um, click open end so that uh, the no line will close the uh, whole uh, region. So now let's go to rectangle and let's start from the end from the beginning of the polyline and let's draw a rectangle and let's give it a dimension length and width h2 let's make it 25 and uh, for v3 let's make it uh, 1.5 Okay, and now let's uh, draw at the end of the uh, wrench. Let's also go to a circle. Let's choose the center. And let's make the circle uh, same as the first one. Let's make it 5 centimeters. And let's go to, uh, let's go to polygon. Let's draw a polygon. Uh, in the end and let's give it uh, its uh, six uh, sides let's make it five well it depends on uh, what bolt you are using so uh, let's give it a dimension also go to general L5 let's give it L5 to be uh, 1.25 well, let's make it more, let's make it 2, okay, that's better, and let's go to, uh, let's go, let's stay in dimensions and go to replicate, sorry, let's go to modify replicate, so that we can make symmetry of some edges that uh, we want to use, now no need to press control when you do replicate, so, uh, let's uh, go here and let's uh, choose uh, the following edges now uh, right click and use plane origin as handle then right click and flip the vertical and go to the origin and press there so here we go now let's use the uh, trim option so that we trim the sides that we don't want so let's start here Okay, and here this one also, and let's uh, go to the end of uh, the wrench and let's see what we want to trim. So let's trim this one, this one, okay, this one also, and the edge inside, okay, and now here, and this one and let's also zoom in here and delete this edge let's trim it okay so uh, 
I think this is uh, almost done. So uh, for now we have finished uh, our sketch and let's do something more. Let's uh, go to fillet and let's keep it 1.75 and choose the following edges so that we make our uh, sketch more uh, realistic. And here we go. Now let's uh, stay in modify or let's go to dimensions. Or no, select modify and just let's uh, take out these uh, dimensions so that they don't bother us. We just delete them and they will keep the same dimensions so no problem with this. And uh, now let's continue our sketch and choose rectangle. And let's uh, draw a rectangle inside here. Uh, let's uh, choose dimensions for it. Let's... Uh, give it the length and the width uh, for V7 let's just make it 0.5 and for the length let's make it 15 and uh, now let's uh, go and click oh, sorry just right click and cancel and go to draw choose the center line and delete it because we will not use it now uh, go to modify and let's go to replicate to create a symmetry of this uh, uh, rectangle of the following edges only so use plain origin as handle right click and uh, click on flip horizontal and go to the origin okay when you see the letter p press and then press escape and now let's go to uh, fillet in the modify uh, box so let's choose to fill it in now this will not work because the radius is more than the edge and I will show you so let's choose uh, point 0.2 as uh, a fillet so this is the first this is the second third corner and the fourth one and for now we are ready let's go to concept surface from sketches and let's choose sketch one and apply and let's generate so now let's uh, click on extrude the geometry is clicked so uh, press apply and go to depth let's keep it 0.5 and let's generate it and let's save our work let's go and uh, draw uh, a rectangle here which will fill this space uh, as a part of the whole solid so let's go to a new plane and we will choose uh, the type of the plane from uh, centroid however i will show you how to deal with uh, this type from plane uh, it's uh, it takes uh, the location of the new uh, origin as a reference to the old origin of the old axis so if you want to move like uh, uh, a couple of uh, centimeters to uh, the behind the uh, behind the uh, x axis so you what you do is you transform here and you go to offset x you click on it and uh, the box that will appear down you put minus uh, some centimeters you want or plus some centimeters so that the axis will appear here you can also do this for the other uh, axis so uh, you can do it for y or z and you can uh, you have the option also to rotate uh, the axis as uh, much as you want now for our case let's go to uh, from centroid and click on base entities click on the vertexes and let's choose uh, this point here uh, on the rectangle uh, let's click apply and let's uh, go to uh, transform so that we can make it a little bit offset Z let's make it a little bit inside let's choose at point 2 so that we can extrude the new rectangle as a point 1 and it will be in the exact uh, middle since uh, the uh, whole extrude of the body is 0.5 now let's generate and let's go to rectangle 
So uh, let's uh, insert a new sketch and it's inserted in the new plane. Okay, now let's go to rectangle and uh, uh, click on the origin, the new origin, and let's make a rectangle and give it the following dimensions as the uh, previous uh, rectangle. So if you remember, it's 15 and it's 0.5 width. And now let's go to modify. Let's assign a fillet also the same as the previous one. So here's the first, and here's the second corner. And let's uh, go to draw and let's click on this line and delete it because we will not use it. Now return to modify and go to replicate so that we. Uh, we make a symmetry of the new edges oh, sorry so this is the first edge here let's click replicate again okay one two three and let's zoom in here to see what we have uh, this is Sorry, let's do it again. One, two, three, and we'll zoom in here and choose the fourth, the here one, and the next one here. So we catch them all. We cut them all, and now we let's uh, okay, click again, replicate right click and use origin as paste handle then right click and flip vertical and go to the center of the origin when you see the p uh, click and then uh, press escape so now we have the a new sketch let's go to concept surfaces from sketches click on the new sketch apply and generate it and then extrude it for uh, 0.1 centimeters Okay, now just apply here and uh, generate, and that's it. We have it now. This is uh, to make the uh, to make our uh, model more realistic. Now to do this, also we can uh, choose to uh, blend. Let's go to blend fixed radius and blend the edges uh, that are here. Let's choose the first one. And the second one uh, now this and this okay make sure you're pressing control this and this and there are eight edges apply eight edges and uh, generate and this will give the model a more realistic uh, uh, appearance so now we have the solid uh, the wrench which is completed and what we will do next is to uh, create a, a bolt here that is uh, attached to it and it will be uh, another solid as a separate solid that will transfer uh, heat to the uh, whole wrench in order to study the temperature distribution so to do that let's go to the first uh, uh, or uh, axis and let's uh, insert sketch to start sketching our uh, bolt. So go to sketch and go to polygon. And let's uh, draw a polygon of the same uh, size as the first one. So let's choose. Uh, let's choose it till here. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to concept surfaces from sketches and let's choose our new sketch. Uh, sorry, it's sketch four. Let's apply and don't forget to put at frozen so that the software will understand that it is a separate surface and generate. And here you see it's another color. So let's extrude it and click apply and let's go also to add frozen 
and let's extrude it to 0.6 centimeters so that we can see uh, the difference outside of the wrench and here you go this is its thickness outside the wrench and now to make it more realistic let's go to insert another plane here in order to sketch the rest of the bolt therefore let's go to insert uh, a new plane and uh, this time uh, we will choose another type let's choose it from circle slash ellipse and go to the base edge and your only choice of course is an edge and let's choose this uh, circle which is the uh, which has a center which is also the center of the polygon and uh, click apply and let's uh, transform make a transformation let's rotate about y axis about 90 degrees so that we can deal with the uh, x y origin in uh, this uh, uh, in this uh, directions uh, so let's generate here we go, this is our new axis, so let's uh, do another sketch, and let's go here. And what we will do now is, uh, we will zoom in here, okay, and we will go to sketch number 5, and we will draw, uh, let's go to polyline, okay, and let's draw a line from let's say from here okay and let's make it to the x-axis and then again up okay to the y-axis and then let's close it at the first point so right click and uh, okay open end no problem and now uh, let's go to concept surfaces from sketches choose sketch 5 which is a new sketch of course at frozen it's related to the uh, bolt and it generated and now let's insert another sketch which will be a line that uh, is from the origin to let's say here and it will be the uh, the region where the uh, we will choose sweep and the bolt uh, uh, will be sweeping here so let's choose the profile as sketch 5 and the path as sketch 6 or so you can click here it's okay now let's uh, make add frozen also and let's uh, go to twist specification and choose the pitch uh, pitch of the bolt let's choose it to be 0.2 and try now what we will get so let's choose it uh, let's make it 0.1 okay let's generate now okay that's more uh, realistic and here we have our sketch now if you want also we can make it more uh, small we can make smaller uh, 0.05 let's say let's generate this uh, this is more cool and now let's uh, uh, let's go to the parts and let's choose the frozen parts highlight them and choose uh, form a new part so that the uh, bolt is one part and the wrench is another part and uh, this is all for the design thank you for watching and uh, see you in part two of the tutorial where we will be dealing with heat transfer